These polishing stones, says Maria, will be handed on to my daughters and granddaughters. Apart from their sentimental value, the carefully selected polishing stones are an important item in the armamentarium of the Indian potter. The decoration of the pottery of Maria was first developed by her husband, Julian. Today her son, Popo Vide, working with a brush made from a yucca leaf and a pale clay slip, lays the design which, when fired, will appear as a matte black on the shining, almost iridescent black of the ware. Whether the design represents the water serpent or the feather pattern, it is chosen to fit the mood of the ware and to blend its own charm with the beauty of each shining piece. As the sun peeps over the Sangre de Cristos on a windless morning, the firing of the pottery begins. If there is wind, the heat will be unevenly distributed, and the entire batch of pottery, at times a full year's production, may be ruined. With meticulous care, the cedar sticks and large flat cakes of manure have been arranged around the pottery to be fired. There are air vents to aid the rapid combustion of the wood. Of great interest to students of pottery making is the use of the open fire and the relatively low temperatures in firing the ware. fire is smothered with a thick layer of finely powdered manure. A thick, pungent smoke is generated and imprisoned, a rich supply of carbon to impregnate the clay of the pottery. A scant three hours after lighting the fire, the ware is ready to be removed. From the ashes, piece after shining piece is taken. Pots, bowls, plates, shining black and perfect, stand in dazzling array. The symmetry of earth and sky and her own sense of beauty are blended by the hands of Maria into form, shape, and texture, the charm of which few can resist.
This is the work for which Maria, the only Indian woman ever to be thus honored, received the American Institute of Architects Award. It is fitting to quote the citation. The American Institute of Architects honors a daughter of a race and land whose arts were great long before the name America was known. Rediscovering techniques lost for centuries, you have raised them to new heights, still unaided by potter's wheel or closed kiln. We honor not only the skill of your hands, but also your holding fast to the Pueblo Indians' early teaching that your discoveries and the fruits of your labors were not yours to keep, but rather for sharing with all people.